You guys know what genre of music sucks? Swag rock. The best Chicago style pizza. Where's the cheese? It's under the sauce. There's no cheese on it. It's under the sauce. Like, I'm Italian and this is hurting me. It's from Chicago. But it's just sauce. The cheese is under the sauce. That's not enough cheese. The cheese is under the sauce. It's not enough. It's under the sauce. What can gender fluid fashion look like? Something like this. Or this. Even this. Yes, this. Of course, this. Oh my god, thank god I don't look like that. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? This basically cured my body dysmorphia. Imagine looking skinny like that. Oh, thank god it's not me, right? Not once, but twice. You use the term sexual preference to describe those in the LGBTQ community. And let me make clear, sexual preference is an offensive and outdated term. It is used by anti-LGBTQ activists to suggest that sexual orientation is a choice. It is not. Sexual orientation is a key part of a person's identity. Now I'm sharing my story and my experience, but it's not about me. This is an experience I had once to be on the receiving end of white fragility, and it was awful. The fact that it's only once and it happened in my 30s is absolute white privilege. Being on the receiving end of white fragility is a constant for people of color, and it starts when they're children. And the gaslighting is real. You heard the awful things people said to me in my last video. I went into a two month depression where I didn't leave the house, and I started to question whether they were right and it was all true. Luckily, we live in the digital age so I could look through the app and read every single interaction in the history of that organization. Everything I said and everything they said. That is literally the only reason the gaslighting didn't work because I could look through and read absolutely how reasonable I was being. I did nothing to deserve that behavior, but they had me convinced that maybe I did. Maybe I was aggressive and I didn't realize it, but literally the only thing I did was ask for a meeting. As a man, you need to hear this. What in the prepubescent meanderings of a piss poor understanding of biology is this time foolery? You do realize that the body is used in unison, don't you? So the only way you can get a woman with the unused anything is if you make love to her while she's an embryo. You sound like you attracted to Barbie dolls instead of real women folk. Like you want them to get shipped from Amazon, come to you sealed in a box with all them little white fuzzy wuzzies to keep a ceramic skin from being scratched. Why don't you just come out and say you want a slave? That you have a rare fetish that can make you feel like Thomas Jefferson. That all you really wanted for Christmas was a robot with love handles. That you watch Fox News like it's the OnlyFans. That you have an Oedipus complex for the mother figure you created in your own mind. That you need a woman to obey you because you feel powerless in a racist society that doesn't acknowledge you as a real man.
Sweetie, it's all going to be over soon. They're actually talking about school opening up again in a few days. What the fuck are you talking about? Malls in late stage capitalism be like. Huh? Oi. Who? Ha. Ta. Yeah, yeah. The second you say something about a girl's weight, you're a piece of shit. A girl can't date a guy that's under six foot, not five foot. Hi, friends. This is an example of a man blaming women for a problem caused by the patriarchy. Now, I want us to use our critical thinking skills, okay? What could possibly have caused women to want to date taller men? Could it be that many men are threatened by women who are bigger than they are? That one of society's main goals seems to be telling women to take up less space? The fact that the media portrays any relationship where the woman is either fatter or taller than the man as a joke? Yeah, this is a problem caused by men, and comparing the way that society treats the weight of women to the way it treats the height of men is a perfect example of the false equivalence fallacy. Okay, listen, yo, I'm like, back in the day, me and you, baby, we used to have fun. get how this really intense communist theory reading white boys get it i don't get how they do it and how they like live with themselves really because i watched three video essays titled what is socialism that covered like the basis like the very basis what marx was all about like a little bit of history and I'm ready to scream and rip my skin off. Like, I literally am burning with rage for capitalism and what it's done to this world and what we could have been doing if we didn't have it. But these white boys are sitting here every day like, hmm, Marx once said, no, I'm already done. That's all I needed to see. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything better than milk and cookies? Universal health care. Mm. I don't think so. <laughs> Are you a gal? No. Are you a boy? No. I'm just a person. I am. Oh, yes, I'm a. You really thought you ate? Give me that fucking plate. Just shake that ass for Joe Biden. We don't actually like him, but what to do? Just vote blue, get Trump out of office, and start new, bitch! Hey, Daddy! Oh, Daddy. Oh, my God. Hey, so if you have mean things to say about trans people, I'll have to tar and feather you so you look like the chicken shit you are. I'm What left winger gets mad when you say, let's go, Brandon? Like, that's just how you know conservatives are just living in a completely different reality. 
First of all, ew. Second of all, ew. Hey there, ho there. So, after doing some consideration, I decided that I would make my Instagram private. However, my TikTok, we're gonna be fighting back. I changed my name, so we'll fight back. Therapy is expensive, but bullying business majors is free. Just a friendly reminder that my pronouns are she and they. So you can stop calling me she all the time. You could call me they too. That's why is there the fuck? So, first and foremost, what are my pronouns? So they all know my pronouns. It's they, them. It's quite simple. And then um, the next question was, do y'all respect those pronouns? Yes. I feel like some people think that, like, for whatever reason, some kids don't respect the pronouns. And I'm like, it's not y'all that don't respect the pronouns. It's people on social media who, like, can't yeah. gather that. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just weird to me that that's what people think. So y'all respect the pronouns. I don't ever really have issues with y'all not respecting my pronouns. If you ever make a mistake, what do I say? That's it. I just say teacher Roby, right? Like, if you, do I get mad at y'all or yell at y'all or be upset at y'all? No. No, it's just a, a quick fix. So, appreciate y'all. That's pretty much it. Line up. It's okay. You can laugh. It's funny. <laughs>